Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy at the end of a huge battle. Uh, I've looked through the comments, uh, just got back from a trip so it has been a slight delay between videos but I was actually able to record one right or a couple right before I left so. Anyways, what's the state of affairs right now? People are calling this Trafalgar, people are calling this Shushima. Uh, any way you look at it, it's a really big battle. It's going to definitely decide the fate of naval powers for years to come because uh, we probably have crushed I mean this is a little hyperbole I think that's a bit exaggerated we'll have to see exactly what happens and we'll only see that at the end of the battle which I'd like to get to so I probably shouldn't talk too much but let's do the usual get our displays open now um, we are sending potentially this group of ship by the way do you have you only have port side. Actually, that's going to work in our favor if they're going this way. And we're kind of after, I believe that this one is sinking now. Well, if she's not, she will be soon. Um, we're kind of after the last Indy. We have lost two ships, and if we can make it to the end of this battle, only having lost two capital ships for all the ships we've lost, and especially considering that one of those was the Potent Terrapin. I mean, that's not a ship I wanted to lose, but it's only one Yosemite class, which that is the uh, that's the best ship class I have right now, I think. So, I mean, we'll soon have new ones, but uh, those these are behemoths. And, I mean, these Philippines have definitely acquitted themselves extremely well. Anyway, unfortunately, I have actually kind of lost <laughs> where the hell the uh, Indy was. It was somewhere over here. We'll have to go a minute and see if we find anything. Oh, okay, Providence has sunk. Potent Terrapin has sunk. That's strange that they both sink in exactly the same minute. But uh, uh, people were commenting as well that I was talking about how the bodies would litter the waves and we got to go back for the sailors. And people are making some good comments that, you know what? Probably anybody in the water at this point is a goner just because the water is so cold. It's January. Somebody pointed out, I think Kurt was the first one, but several people did. So we're just going to make our way over. We'll hunt around with the Tennessee, which I think is more than capable of taking on any other ship that's left right now. Um, just even if she was to fire her three main guns. So we want her to kind of not fire for a little bit. And we can get the St. Louis, the Yosemite, the Kiwana. We can get all of these to, to kind of contribute if we're able to fire, um, find, I should say, the, uh, the missing Indy. So this one's sinking. I'm sure this one's sinking. So we'll get these guys to stop firing for 10 minutes. We'll get you to stop firing for 10 minutes. Get basically everyone to hold fire just to conserve any ammunition that we may need for the the final the final ship, which I believe is oh, it has every single turret destroyed. <laughs> yeah, the final ship. Oh, I guess one's only disabled, but the final ship. Which is the Indy. The one who she was the one who first we first were trying to get to and now oh, she's looks like she'll be the last one we try to chase down. Oh, Jewett, why did you launch your torpedoes there? Hold fire. And this group of light cruisers, I think I was bum rushing at some ship over here. Okay, that's fine. Last Bastion's firing. We're going to let these two, well, you know, I guess we'll also tell them to stop firing for a little bit just because if we happen to run across the ND, I hope not, but. This is still another ship getting hit by torpedoes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, whoa, we don't want uh, that to happen. Yeah, I mean, come on, Lexington. Are you going to make it, by the way? I, I mean, it's close. We actually probably need to speed along with her, and she is going 10 knots to try to get her home to port as fast as possible. Okay, that one's already sinking, though, so we didn't really need to do that. And I believe, as we saw, I think some of the ships turning away north, uh, they turned north to try to escape. There it is. 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 Tennessee has sighted her. We are going to pull back this way. 
That is the best ship to have spotted her, if it is indeed her. We'll find out momentarily. Get you guys to hold off for 10 minutes. Okay, she's steaming back in full steam ahead. We're going to risk a torpedo hit. The Tennessee has not taken any yet, so that's good news. We're going to risk a torpedo hit. This looks like a destroyer, by the way. So we're risking... No, I don't think there's any torpedoes left on any of these ships, so I'm not too worried. Unsighted is down there. Ah, that's where she is. Don't... Oh, okay, so we actually need to shield ships from the... Yeah, okay. Last Bastion, how... You're in pretty good shape. Last Bastion, you are going to be rerouted to defend... And I think the Ohio too, though. Ohio definitely has taken a torpedo hit. Still is flooding. We're going to get her to keep going. But Last Bastion is going to go ahead and escort the Lexington. The Bainbridge will head down that way as well. And we need you guys actually to just pull back this way to protect the Lexington as well. Okay, so this unsighted ship is just... <laughs> it's not letting us detect what she is. Ah, we see this one. Okay, that's the one we're looking for. Okay, good. So Juet's actually in kind of in a good position to continue to push away the uh, destroyer here. We have our light cruisers coming back into play. Still might be the ND somewhere over there. I don't... Oh, what? Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. St. Louis. I don't know why St. Louis is the one that they're really going after, but let's see. Do you have any torpedoes? You do. And what's more... Cover your ears, this might be loud. Yeah, a bit loud. Should try to turn down the volume a bit. Okay, so we might even do that again. Find the ship in line of fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we we fired one from this side though. That's good. We'll get these guys, unfortunately, <laughs> I'll have to rotate other side. Hopefully the Tennessee can uh, do some fire. But this is bad, right? That's a lot of hits on the I mean, the only person who hit this battlecruiser is our destroyer. <laughs> Not ideal. Now, this is a Cunningham. We want to save you. Oh, but you have two torpedoes. Please save port. Please. Oh, center. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's perfect. Okay, that is worth it. So get out of here now, by the way. Just... Smoke. Feel free to launch torpedoes. Okay, that's looking good. We need the Tennessee up here. St. Joseph. So we probably should detach everyone so that they can all make it back safely. What's my squad max on these? 22? Okay, that's fine. Juets going down. Let's see what happens with these guys who still have some... I think. Well, at least the Wichita Falls has some torpedoes left in the uh, starboard side. I need the Tennessee, though. Okay, we got her with two more. My goodness, that's, that's probably really going to do it. Okay, I'm pretty confident that this is the Indy. The Indefatigable. <laughs> uh, indefatigable. And I think... Wow, I said it right. That... That's probably enough to kiss her softly to sleep with two huge explosions. But, you know, underwater. The Bainbridge is now the... Oh, okay, it's a different battlecruiser. I was going to say the Bainbridge is now contributing. How is this happening? So if you are able to spot this target, and you are, I think this would be a good time to fire your torpedoes. And we'll just keep rolling up with the Yosemite. We'll get these battle cruisers out of harm's way. In fact, I might just do something. I might detach everyone but the Kiwana, who is in pretty good shape. I mean, really good shape. Okay, so let's do it. Let's let's just be a little bit cautious. Let's detach you. And how bad are you, St. Louis? Not too bad. Okay, so we'll keep you two on, but we'll take the Yosemite off and get you to... Uh, Head back to port. Even though the <laughs> you're actually gonna head the same direction anyway. Oh, that was a nice barrage. Okay, good. So let's they're not even scared launching torpedoes. 
You're... Wow, 20 heavy hits. You've taken a few, huh? And now we're actually walloping on her. Ah, oh, the Jewett's taking hits. No! Light guns. Alright, just head north. Get out of there. But unfortunately, wrong side for all of our torpedoes, I believe. Port. Port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to rotate back around to be able to... Did we get her? Ah, no. Well, we're still hitting her with some stuff. St. Joseph got some shots in. I mean, this is still good news. And she looks like she might rotate down to the Tennessee. Oh my god, it's over now. Okay. Tennessee's actually hitting this dreadnought, which is also sinking. Okay. So we'll spin around and we'll get the job done. Everyone else, just get out of there. Last Bastion, what's your speed? 10. Last Bastion, we also want you to make your speed 10. You will just escort the Lexington. Uh, yes, go ahead and enter the port. Our first, first people entering the port. I think there was a ship over here. We might as well just circle around and go kill because you guys are all in pretty good shape. Very little damage. No torpedoes left, but we can easily gun down any destroyers. So let's do that. And this is a brazen little destroyer. And I really don't want to lose the... Q and uh, the Jewett after all this. Good. More torpedo launching. I don't know, this one might have friendly in the line of fire anyway, but yeah, it's not important. Not a possibility to do anything about it. She's sinking. I'm, I'm not worried. We're sending everyone back home to port. Just make a beeline to port. Get everyone out of the way. And we'll have the Tennessee come in and finish her off with the guns. Guns, guns, guns. So... And then, well, yeah, we'll just scout around, try to keep save the Jewett if we can. So that means that you should, you guys need to rotate up back towards this destroyer so we can try to sink her. You know, the Tennessee's not in a great place here, actually. I'm going to move her north just so I avoid my own torpedoes. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. That was a very good idea. Near miss. Wow, yeah, she's still firing. Hit by another, oh my god, three torpedoes. With another more, uh, another are still, I mean, how many torpedoes is, is this? For the love of god. Another one. Oh, she's, okay, so immediately going to sink. And we'll, again, try to save Indefatigable, is now the, she's definitely sinking. I hope she's only pretending to point those guns at me. I don't think there'd be anybody in the right mind trying to s stay on the ship. Even as we rake it with more gunfire. I'm going to allow it just to make sure that they aren't actually returning fire. Or they shouldn't be. They should be just completely destroyed. They've been hit by enough torpedoes to... Well, a lot. A lot of torpedoes. We do have a ship down here, interestingly enough. Interestingly enough. Don't want to lose the Jewett. Let's get her home to port as well. Okay, let's start getting everyone in. But we do see a Dreadnought that's moving. And that's that's the one I don't want to sink me. Come on, Bainbridge, get the hell out of there. Okay, you head this way, you head that way. Okay, I think we got her now. I think the Bainbridge will survive. Uh, maybe not. Well, she's a Benny class, so it's not too important that she does survive, but I would like to keep her alive. As many as possible, really. Oh, the Ohio reattached. Well, that cannot, that we cannot let that happen. Detach. Kind of a bummer that that happened since she was probably moving nicely to port before that. Okay, there's the ones we want. So DDs are being hit. Nice. Very nice. Tennessee actually getting hit from the heavy guns. So this is uh, an active something or other. And we're just exchanging fire now. Oh, no, actually, yeah, there it is. And we still have on the port side some torpedoes left. 
So what do we have? A Minestrel, which is, yeah, it only had two torpedoes to begin with. Tennessee's dueling it out. Gets another hit off with his six inch guns. Try to get the Bainbridge out of here. Yeah, four, yeah, well, we're missing with all the other guns. Oh, wow. I mean, this thing means business, so I'm going to pull off. We'll let torpedoes do the, the trick. Yeah, we'll pull off. Why not? Just stop firing for a little bit. We'll get our uh, light cruisers to go in. Oh, what? Perkins loses contact with the division. Ah, that's okay. We mostly need to keep an eye on the last bastion in Lexington. Everyone else can probably keep up for themselves. Now I need the Tennessee. Bainbridge might not make it, but yeah, that's not the biggest deal. I think she's over here somewhere. She must have spun around back south. Okay, well, let's just keep moving until we encounter something else again. Yes, go ahead and enter port. As and when you can. Whew, lots of hits, man. So many ships are going to need some pretty big repairs after this. Get our other ships to... Oh, well, you guys are in the wrong spot. Okay, there she is. Port side is ready to go. The Ohio just re-emerged, which is not what I wanted to see, actually. This is our destroyer. This is our... Oh, God, they're going for the light. Okay. <sighs> I should have been paying more closely attention, but... Boy, I really dislike this situation. I was leaking slowly, but she'll make it to port, I think, as long as she doesn't take too much more. Get the tendency to wrap around because we have to save Lexington. And by have to save Lexington, I mean I'm almost willing to sacrifice even. Okay, the last passion's gonna have to go. Just gonna have to help. Even the Bainbridge. Shta, how you doing? Okay, can you fire torpedoes? Yes. Okay, Let's see if that works. And those are all misses. Last Bastion is coming in like a true hero and actually doing some damage. With the 14 inches, the big ones. Okay, another hit, another hit. Wichita is just getting blasted, but we needed her to absorb that fire. Um, I was actually just about to pull her off, but looks like she did it herself. Get you to detach. Okay, air controlled. Launch torpedoes if you can. You've expended everything. Very good. Get out of here. What? It's not the direction I asked you to evade. Oh, it's an illustrious. Okay, well, we should be able to handle this. First of all, we got Plenty of good hits on there. Get the Wichita just the heck out of here. Deploy smoke. And please, move away. What in God's name are you doing? She doesn't have her rudder jammed. She's just not listening. Well, anyway, it looks like we're close enough to hopefully finish her off. Let's launch with everyone. Ah. Out of arc. Oh, there it is. Two more hits. That should do her. It didn't yet, but she has no guns with which to fire at us. 
get the Lexington to get her course back on. Get all these guys going to Boston, Boston. Oh man, what a what a crazy even this the ending here is still fraught with drama. Last passion, you've done your job. Go home. <laughs> the last group is going to be this one over here. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what's going on with Wichita Falls. She looks like she's actually obeying orders now. Don't know what was happening for a while there. It didn't even say, okay, I was going to say, it didn't even say three knots for a bit. Okay, so let's get you guys to... Hold fire. Actually, you don't have to hold fire, but hold for Peter damage and get everyone else into port. Okay, I think we can run at speed. Just did some damage. Crazy. Just madness. Into port we go. We'll let these guys catch up with each other. Keep that division nice and tight. We're gonna make it. And you guys actually don't go in yet because you're my last group with torpedoes. Oh, I cannot wait to see the end of this. And we'll probably call this close uh, video to a close right after this. One, because when I get back to the main game screen, the window itself is gonna be not aligned correctly. And instead of taking the time to figure out how to get that where I want it to be, I might just <laughs> call it to a close instead. And look at the Lexington just squeaking in. A little bit of flooding here. I guess it doesn't... Oh! Oh! Whoops. Okay, we're getting everyone. This is it! We're rounding the, the rounding Cape Cod, moving in. Amazing. And what a battlefield. What a battlefield. And the last of us are escorting the Lexington home. She's going to make it. Let's just pause real fast to see if I can get... Yeah, she's got plenty left. So even if she burst a bulkhead right now, not that I want to jinx things, but... Even if she burst a bulkhead right now, it should be okay. Still going to rely on the Great Lakes and the Sacramento to truly bring things home. Because they do, if I'm not mistaken, have torpedoes remaining. Maybe not. Yeah, five torpedoes remaining. So, alright. Bainbridge, after you. And that is it. That is the end. What a battle. In this alternate world, you can imagine, you can well imagine, that this is not a day that would soon be forgotten. January 10th, 1927. A huge fight breaks out between the, really the two biggest navies in the world, and the two biggest fleets just come into contact. Um, somebody was saying that Tsushima, because the British were well, well away from their main ports, but you know what, that may not necessarily be true, considering that they would have access to the Canadian ports. Now we don't really know the army situation. What I'm just going to pretend, because I, I thought we already raided or invaded Bermuda, but maybe not. Anyway, let's go up to ultra fast. We don't have anybody else out. I don't, I mean, they obviously do. I guess it's that one mysterious scout battle cruiser still making its way back home. Oh, I have somebody still left. Okay. Well, that's my fault then. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. So despite my real aggressive, typical aggressive behavior with the destroyers, they actually lost more destroyers than we did. And what's more, oh my god. A million. I broke a million. I'm not sure I've broken a million before. Wow. Holy cow. 
Well, before I do anything, I want to make sure I go into the details here. We'll we'll go ship by ship. This definitely will take us the full episode because let's let's linger on this one a little bit. I mean, seven episodes to get to the final end of the battle. Is it seven or even eight? I'm losing track. I mean, after six, after three, it's hard to keep track. So, oh, just really interesting. I'd like to kind of see if they... Oh, I can't do that without closing this window. So let's go to details. And let's look. Let's really take some, take a look at all these. I'm not going to know which one is which. We'll try to let you guys back that out afterwards. Although, ah, oh, the sow, the how took seven. The indefatigable. This must have been the last one. She took six, as well as 87 heavy hits. Oh my goodness. And note that, yeah, a lot of these hits were after she was sinking. Ship sinking after three torpedo hits. No kidding. And then even a fourth one hit. But that still means she took two torpedo hits before that. And plenty of heavy fire. 15 inches, 15 inches. Lots of 15 inch shells. I mean, for a total, of, I mean, 1700 flooding <laughs> kind of says it all. Um, 1700 flooding, my God. 87 heavy hits, 54 medium hits. Just, it, it couldn't have been like any more uh, decisive that this ship was going to sink. Okay. Let's take a look at, somebody had a good question about the Europa, if she lost electrical power, and I, I, I suspect she did. It's a very good guess, because she wasn't moving for a long time. Fire reduced, but damage all. Electric power restored, there it is. So let's see how long it was that she was without power. Yeah, about almost 30 minutes. And it was a hit from the Yosemite, which um, disabled her power. So uh, she was she was not sinking before that, despite having already lost two turrets and you know just lots of stuff. But um, it looks like at some point she just couldn't take any more though, and it wasn't like a torpedo; it was just the sum of all this damage. 2,000 flooding, well, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Um, Anson, this is, oh, the camber down. Wow. And she had the flash fire? Yep, ship blows up from the Lexington. Well. It's just only one, she's the, the one lone ship that doesn't even report that much damage. Just got that one front turret destroyed. Um, the diadem. Another indefatigable. This one was the first one, I guess. How did she end up going down? Was it torpedoes? Only one torpedo hit. Ship blows up. Magazine hit. So that's somewhat, I mean, pretty similar to the flash fire. I don't, yeah, she was hit by a torpedo, but I don't see where it was. I kind of wonder what their torp torpedo protection is. Okay, so they're using quality negative one 16 inch guns, but quality one 6 inch guns. Hmm, 28, man. Just very fast ship. Good armor. I mean, this indefatigable is a really tough ship class to deal with. It's very potent. Let's see what else. Yosemite, ah, yes. Providence. The Providence. And then the Potent Terrabin. And Lady Lex, she somehow made it out by some miracle. She's gonna make it home. Oh, amazing. Hopefully when I, I, I hope there's no retiring torpedo, submarine torpedoing events. That would really drive me nuts. It's funny that the Freedom and the Lexington actually had more 
damage than some sunk ships. <laughs> wow. It's like the. Oh. Yeah, never mind. This is the potent tear pin. Only three torpedoes. Man, it's just. See, there's a big discrepancy between the ships that the British lost. Five torpedoes. Only one for the Diadem, then two here. Only two on the Europa. Oh, but she was she was kind of gunned down turret by turret. Three in the Providence. Six, six, six on the um, Indefatigable. Yeah. Then seven on the Howe. Three on the Potent Terrapin. I think this was another flash fire. Bulwark class. No? Yeah, it was. Turret flash fire. We certainly had our, our fair share of those. I mean, the Brits... We had those in this battle, but not our, not on our side, thankfully. I mean, for those of you who don't know, I mean, there's obviously a historical references you can think of with the flash fires, but um, it's built into the game that the British ships suffer more of these flash fires. So I don't know what other um, stats people were interested in seeing. I'm just going to kind of scroll down and scroll back up slowly so that you guys can kind of pick apart what you want. Um, damage. Damage as a percentage would be interesting. Yeah, so many ships taking some heavy hits. So like, uh, Great British Light Cruiser, the Pegasus, took some, looks like some heavy fire even. F some 15 inch shells and walked away to tell the tale. One of the very few survivors too, so you can add that to the Pegasus's legacy. Wichita made it, thankfully. She only took four heavy hits herself. What was this one? Yeah, two. I guess this took two. Oh, wow. Crazy. Just crazy. Um, no, we don't need to see that. We saw that one. Queen, Bulwark class. This was... What? Wow, lots of hits. Oh, the Providence did her in. So the Providence, you know, she delivered what damage she could before going down. The Bulwark, the namesake of the class, went down. Let's recap this one. Yeah, pretty early. Yeah, she just went down from sheer fire. I mean, these ships, the Bulwark class is only 25,000 tons. Something to really fear, I would say, in like the first 15 years of the game, but... Come 1925 onward, where we already are, 1927. Not so much, it's not, not something you're going to worry too much about. In constant, I think this was the one that got away as well. Quality negative one, 14 inch turrets. They have an upgrade theirs. Um, yeah. Well, I hope that you got to see what you wanted to see out of this. Oh, wow. Let's see who took the most. 114. This Europa took 114 heavy hits. That's insane. Hit scored and hit percentage, that'd be interesting to see. Let's see if anybody, ooh, 12%. The Caesar here did pretty well for herself. Another one down here, anything over 10. Oh, the Tennessee. Good marksmanship. The Illustrious, also over 10, but did not live to tell the tale. Very close over here. How as well, scoring a lot of hits. Uh, a lot of the British ships performing pretty well in terms of accuracy. I hope that's not gonna be a continuous thing okay anyway so wow we just we did it we did it every single dreadnought all 15 have been sunk it's really impressive i'm tempted to end the recording here just so i can take a screenshot but i guess i'll take a screenshot of my recording <laughs> uh, because this is really cool this is something i want to remember and just note how we came in with superior ships our dreadnoughts were superior than theirs, for the most part, and our battle cruisers were also superior to theirs. Um, so, and we had seven battle cruisers to their five, but we only had four dreadnoughts to their fifteen. So it was twenty to eleven. Twenty to eleven, nearly two to one odds, and we came out ahead. 
So I know that that doesn't tell the whole story just because of the outdated designs that we were dealing with, but it still says something, you know, that they were fielding dreadnoughts. Not battleships, but real dreadnoughts. So might even want to take a look at how the battle happened. We'll do this for the big ships. So they came in. Where did we come in from? Here, I guess. Just start tangling up. Turn those off, and here's all the the corpses. You could send some some divers down here. I guess it'd be too deep, but some maybe unmanned submarines. Just look at all the corpses, all the wrecks remaining after that. Very interesting. Okay, so let's just do the leave scenario and see what the the final points are. Wow, ninety. Well, let's call it 95,000 victory points for that, and 27 for them. So, <laughs> was this a memorable battle? Battle of Cape Cod. Pretty impressive one. So, I don't know what the British even have left. Let's take a look. Uh... They have some 20, I mean, basically we eliminated most of their older ships, sadly. I mean, it, it does mean that their strategic points have gone. What the hell, way down, we're being blockaded despite the eliminating every single dreadnought. How the hell is, how do you, how do you figure that? Okay, we haven't taken Bermuda yet, but I think we will. If that was, that must not have been the battle in, like, in support of the landing, though. So how are we being blockaded here? Oh, because we don't have a single ship available, and they still have five battle cruisers. And God help us, what kind of battle cruisers do they even have? So first of all, nation data wise, they have. I mean, good lord, they have so many damn ships. They still have twenty-three total ships remaining. All right, the last thing I'm going to do. I mean, we've seen at least Germany should be able to overwhelm them in the. Uh, they should be being blockaded. What the hell are the Germans doing? My god, they, they actually have enough. No, I guess the Germans have, they have 10 to 10 and then 15 to 7 battle cruisers. So the Germans have enough, but they're for some reason raiding with it, or they only have 55 points. It's amazing that the British can spare 5 battle cruisers for here and still have 10 dreadnoughts and 7 battle cruisers to spare at home. That's incredible. So the last thing, I, as I was saying, I want to do is take a look at the Ticonderoga. This beautiful new dreadnought that will be coming out soon. Yeah, now when she arrives, I think we'll have a real game changer. They're using quality negative 116 inch guns. We're using, I think it's quality, yeah, quality one. And we also have the quality zero 18 inch guns, but I haven't slapped those on a ship yet. We have a little bit of money in the bank. We'll let that store up before we make our next class. Other than that, my god, we'll have to organize some ships differently, move some, we currently have some ships on the west coast we'll have to move, um, some in the Caribbean we'll have to move over. I'm happy that we only lost one Yosemite. Yeah, these lightnings, we probably need them to, we we'll probably need to pull them up, at least a couple of them. Uh, maybe the two elite ones? No, actually I don't think it matters, we'll just pull up any two to uh, the east coast. We need them. We need them. And we'll probably have to pull up some other ships too just to stop the blockade from happening because I don't think that's going to help in terms of uh, getting this invasion of Bermuda going. So, All right, well, there it is, the big battle. It's over. Uh, there's probably a lot more I could say, but uh, it's just it's a really dramatic moment in this game world. And it was a pretty phenomenal battle. It's definitely the biggest battle I've ever been a part of. Which is really saying something, considering I've spent a lot of time in this game. It's you know, it's a really enjoyable game. So, anyway, I'll let us go here. So until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.